There are two basic parts to security and SQL Server reporting services, report security and data source security. Report security refers to authentication and authorization of users so they can execute and manage reports. Data source security refers to authentication and authorization of an executing report so it can gain access to the data source it needs to get the report data. Both of these hook into the overall security system of SQL Server, similar to that in the core database engine. But reporting services security is a bit simpler because of its focus on protecting reports and data rather than many kinds of database objects. In this course, you'll learn how to work with the security features of reporting services. You'll start by learning how to authorize users to perform actions at both the server and folder level, as well as how to use Management Studio to manage report server roles. Then you'll learn how to enable basic authentication, which is necessary to allow report access via non-Internet Explorer browsers and outside the local network. It's generally a very bad practice to transmit credentials or data in the clear over any network, even a local network. So next you'll see how you can enable and optionally require the use of SSL, which is really TLS or the Transport Layer Security. And this will apply anytime a user or application accesses reporting services. Then you'll learn about how report data security hooks into the data security features of the core database engine of, of SQL Server. You'll see how to require different kinds of credentials for any data source, both in SQL Server data tools and in Report Manager. You'll also learn about the permissions required to access data for a report. Security is a complex topic, but SQL Server and reporting services has all the tools you need to protect your data, users, and networks from attack.